One way that you can have a vitamin B12 deficiency is if you have what we call pernicious anemia. And that's where you don't have enough intrinsic factor to be able to absorb the vitamin B12. So it works like this. You eat something that has vitamin B12 in it, like meat. The meat uh, then goes through your stomach and you have the stomach acid uh, and other things that pull the vitamin B12 out of the meat, right? Then your stomach will release what's called intrinsic factor, which will bind to the vitamin B12. And then it makes its way down its, the small intestine and it gets to a place where it would release the B12 into your bloodstream. But if you don't have intrinsic factor, which is basically the gateway from your stomach into your bloodstream, it's the key. And if you don't have that, if you don't have enough of that, then the vitamin B12 just never gets into your bloodstream. And if you don't have enough vitamin B12, then you're gonna eventually develop symptoms like pins and needles, brain fog. Um, it can affect your uh, DNA synthesis. Uh, your red blood cell count can be too low. Um, you know, it can just create all sorts of havoc on your body. If you read around enough, if you go into group chats, if you Google, um, if you even look on YouTube, you'll see that people say that pernicious anemia cannot be healed. Um, I don't know if I agree with that just because, I mean, in one of my recent videos, you see someone who was paralyzed for six years. Now they're running marathons. I truly do believe that anything is possible, that we can find healing for pretty much everything. So, I believe it's out there. I am going to be researching more into this. Uh, a lot of people say it's an autoimmune disease. And the good thing is we know how to heal a lot of autoimmune diseases. If you research again deep enough and you see that, you know, people are, are reversing their autoimmune diseases all the time. But if you listen to doctors, they may or may not agree with that or they might not have been exposed to that and might not know. Uh, but that is possible. So if pernicious anemia is an autoimmune disease, then I would, I would think that it is possible. So now we just gotta find out how. I would definitely think a good place to start is the stomach um, where we need to be producing enough acid. Um, also, if you have an intestinal overgrowth of, uh, of bacteria, that needs to be brought under control, um, you know, so that we're absorbing the vitamins enough. None of us want to supplement forever. None of us want to inject forever. So it's my goal to heal everybody of their vitamin B12 deficiency. So that would include, in this case, healing uh, what's, whatever's causing there not to be enough intrinsic factor in our bodies. So I'm gonna set out to discover this and to use it on myself and then uh, you know hopefully see it uh, with other people so I want to heal our bodies through natural foods organic foods I even sell vitamin b12 injection vials uh, and I would love to not have to sell them because that means that we all have been healed and our bodies have been restored and we don't need to do all this nonsense so nothing would make me happier than to find the cure and uh, to just spread that as much as possible. Now there are other reasons why we can have a vitamin B12 deficiency, but pernicious anemia is definitely one of them. So if you'd like to be along for the ride, if you want to see how this progresses and you know the, the, the natural things that we try and how we heal and get better, please hit the subscribe button. Please share this with any friends that might be having some of these symptoms. And let's all do our part to help each other together get better. God bless you.